in your money. American Apparel has started laying off about 2,400 workers in Southern California and is expected to close its 110 stores within the next few months. American Apparel has a location here in the metro, it's one on the plaza. The move comes after a Canadian company withdrew its plan to buy some of American Apparel's manufacturing operations. Walmart says it will create about 10,000 retail jobs in the U.S. this year by opening and remodeling dozens of stores. Walmart was recently said to be cutting about 7,000 office positions, mostly from their headquarters. Is this the beginning or the end of brick-and-mortar stores? We'll see. More people are shopping online these days, and the most recent sales numbers, especially from the holiday season, prove it. KCTV 5 Stephanie Kayser spoke to the experts about this, new at 4. The numbers are in for the holiday shopping season and online sales continue to soar. Many people tell me it's all about convenience while others down here on the plaza say they like the personal touch of going into a store to shop. I do most of my shopping online. It's easy, returns are easy. Everybody's got great customer service now. So it's you, know, you can always find exactly what you want yeah. if you don't mind waiting a little bit to get it. Uh, but there's also something to be said for going out in the store. A boost in consumer confidence and an increase in pay is what the Commerce Department says helped online sales jump. For all of 2016, online sales rose 13.2 percent. That's three times the gain of all retail sales. Department stores fell at 0.6 percent. Mall-based retailers, they are really struggling. Yeah. yeah. Just the food traffic has gone down a lot. Atul Kulkarmi is an assistant marketing professor at UMKC. He says customers like shopping online because they can get immediate feedback on potential purchases through online reviews. For companies, it's more cost-effective to not have a storefront, and millennials are simply shopping right on their phones pointing toward online shopping as the future of uh, retail by and large. I'm not saying you're going to have uh, physical stores or brick or mortar stores completely extinguished because they do offer their own value. Already the Limited announced it would close all of its 250 stores and Macy's and Sears continue to close locations. Kulkarmi says to stay open, companies need to provide an experience, not just a transaction. And many people who go to the plaza say it's just for that, the experience. I do love coming down here, I mean, just for the presence and the, and the feel and last-minute gifts. Professor Cool Carney says the next strategy we may see stores do is offer more incentives to get people through the doors. In Kansas City, Stephanie Kayser, Casey.